small feet indeed. And of course, Steven uh, going to be looking at a Sonic. So Sonic versus Dark Samus, the unstoppable force and the impenetrable wall coming in here on PS2, which traditionally is a very zoner favored stage, but also just the biplats allows Sonic to just have all the space in the world to run around, you know, circle camp using the two platforms in sort of the figure eight fashion. So right now already we're seeing Steven w with just the littlest of percent leads and already trying to condition train into making some unsafe options while Steven is just playing around the air. Yeah, 100%. And like you said, both characters definitely benefit from the uh, you know the double platforms here on PS2. And one thing that Dark Samus and you know most projectile characters that we see within the uh, you know within the game they uh, like to hide under there. But Sonic is going to just run up to you and try to give you some hands. Yeah, no. Sonic has all the angles in the world, especially with that homing attack being buffed in Ultimate from Smash 4. Having that instant homing attack is so beneficial, especially in zoner matchups when it can be kind of difficult to find those sort of off angles to find your way in. Yeah, right. 100%. Looking at even percentages right now, Train has the stage advantage, gets the setting up some bomb pressure there at the ledge, but Steven rolls his way right through, almost getting the up air for the kill, but not quite. Yeah, you got to look out for th from that from Sonics because they like to get a little sneaky heading for those Ooh. up airs up near the top of the stage, but... You know, pretty even matchup so far. Both players just kind of feeling each other out, trying to see what's going on. Um, let's see where uh, let's see where Sonic, or I'm sorry, Steven continues to push the envelope here. Yeah, and I love the way that Train is setting up the bombs so far. Bombs, yeah. such a powerful tool in the Samus uh, toolkit to just shut down that entire approach angle. Ooh, the yeah. Dare actually clanking with the spring, keeping trains safe and keeping them alive long enough to get that first kill. So first blood going to train, gonna see if we can work on a little bit of extra credit. Now Sonic can occasionally struggle with raw kills, except for back air. Back air is one of the good ones. Yeah, back air and then definitely that punch to the face that Sonics usually like to go for around the ledge, but Interesting to see how, you know, like you said, the usage of the bombs from Dark Samus is really keeping Steven at bay. I love the platform movement using the bombs, setting up for that kind of cheeky up air from Train. All right, now Nicely Steven done. gets to start playing the game, catches the tether using the forward air. Train going to have to recover with an uppy. I don't think he's used his jump yet, but that didn't look like it should have killed. Maybe that looked like bad DI. Yeah, I wonder if, you know, Train was already just succumbing to the fact that... I, I think he might have lost his jump, actually. I think it was kind of curtains there, but... Um, great sequence by Steven. And that's what you want to see as the, as the Sonic player in this matchup, especially contesting Samus off stage. Even though Samus can, you know, throw a bunch of different projectiles at you and kind of be slow to make it back to the stage, I think Sonic could do a great job of just going out there and contesting and seeing what they could do. Oh, absolutely. And if you're able to get... A character with a more exploitable recovery. Sonic's edge guard potential is fantastic, yeah. as we already saw. But you know, even with almost a full stock deficit, Train starting to bring things back. Almost gets the up air, trying to read the air dodge in instead of finishing the kill. Gets put on the corner for his troubles. Okay, charge shot, catching that down air, uh, canceling the spin charge. Train not out of uh, not out of commission just yet, but Steven putting on a lot more of that pressure. Maybe looking for another edge guard here. Ooh, the jab into pivot grab, the Samus classic. That's twice now. Uh, Train has been able to get the kill off of that little sneaky jab into into grab. So very curious to see now how this last stock plays out. Steven with the size of a lead, but you know the Samus player is really starting to. Get some great conversions here with the fair. Yeah, and I mean, Sam is no stranger to getting just crazy combos for no reason. Who made Charge Shot a combo starter in this game? <laughs> Who's responsible? I want to know. Ooh, Bomb weaving out of the way of the forward air. That absolutely would have been the kill. And the nice Charge Shot, get off me, get off the ledge. Social distancing, please. 
I'm shocked that that up here didn't kill. Ooh. Oh, well, a fist to the face will certainly kill. And game one goes to Steven. Nicely, nicely done. Yeah, great. J just reacting to the, uh, yeah. the air dodge. Like, all right, yeah, I have a move that can hit this because it hits the entire stage. Looks like we have Smashville and FD that are banned. And it looks like we're going to small battlefield. Another, another du uh, dual plat stage. Uh, but yeah, like we just saw in the replay, little forward smash to the face to wrap up game one. I think I actually saw them pick town and city. Maybe that was a misclick? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Someone misclicked. We'll see if this is the real Three, stage pick. Two, one, go. And they're playing it out. Okay, All so right. TNC, not small battlefield. Okay, I got mixed. This is God. very. This is a very common occurrence for me at Xena. <laughs> that was the that was the unblockable where yeah. they just used the setup wrong. <laughs> well, interesting choice um, by Train. You know, definitely town and city. Once you get the platforms heading out to the side, the stage definitely becomes very open and a lot less room to set up. But Train not having too much trouble getting their uh, getting their setups. The but now, oh, sorry, go ahead. The adaptation coming out from Steven, they're not getting caught by the jab pivot grab once again. And here, I think this is the crux of what Train wanted out of this stage was the FD-like layout. We did notice that Steven did ban FD. And even now with the biplats at the side, still FDS. Yeah, 100%. Forward smash catch and train matching oh, out a disadvantage. Spring. Yeah, spring is all it's gonna uh, all it's gonna take. Train with no jump, and we're back to an even game. Ooh, nice use of the screw attack catch and Steven coming off of that platform aggressively. Something that you know pretty much everyone just loves to do in this video game is run off platform into press buttons. And if you have a fantastic anti-air like Samus screw attack, you just press that. 100%. It comes out so quick, too, out of shield. Train doing a good job of not letting Steven take Ooh. advantage of, you know, Train hanging by the ledge. You know, as the Sonic player, you kind of, you know, I ideally you'd want that situation, right? Like, you want to be able to try to throw him off stage as often as possible. And <gasps> just, oh, there it is again. Oh, oh, the mash from Steven not going to be getting up thrown there. That may have been the stock. Obviously, Town of City Blast Zone's pretty high up there, but on the, yeah. the top platform, very scary for Steven. That was the jab pivot grab with another like added layer thanks to the bomb. Yeah. All right, Steven stuck at the, oh no, the, just oh, wow. kidding. He's fine, that I was spring. never worried. That spring go dummy. <laughs> it does. Oh, okay. okay, well, he kind of had to go for the back end there. It looked like the, the forward air might have not connected. Um, but interesting to see, you know, both players still keeping it very, very close in this matchup. Steven almost spaced that perfectly yeah. outside of the forward air, but another just grab him, just yoink. You forget how long that grab is. Like that's, when you get grabbed by it, you just get surprised. Like, that's what? the grapple beam. That's a late <laughs> game item. Ooh, tried to get out of the way to maybe shield that charge shot, but instead just took like 30 first troubles. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate for Steven. And again, just kind of getting caught with these full screen <laughs> charge shots while Steven trying to cancel out his spin charge. Not quite working out, but now Train in the corner, fighting his way out using the forward air. These bombs, and now once again, we're back to that FD and we're seeing Steven having to take things a lot more slowly. We're seeing a lot of run shield, a lot of uh, space being given up by Steven. Ooh, okay, able to make it out of the way of the Samish ledge trapping, especially with the tri-platform layout, doing a lot of work for Steven right now. I feel like Train has done a really good job of just making Steven doubt his options, doubt, doubt the things that he's trying to go for. Uh, every time Steven tries to approach, he seems to just be running into a plethora of projectiles, but Train going to be looking for... Oh, the... I was going to say, Train's going to be looking for that grab soon. We're getting at that percent. Or just down smash. Ooh, that was such a sneaky yeah. down smash off of the camera. And I totally agree with what you were saying. That was the zoner matchup in a nutshell, yeah. which is I'm going to make you... I'm going to make you feel unsafe. I'm going to be in your walls. I'm going to just throw all sorts of projectiles and 
you're not going to have fun playing neutral anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Train did a great job this game of just taking advantage of, you know, Steven's indecisiveness. Um, there was a couple very wonky situations that, that occurred in that in that game, but now we're running it back, sticking with the biplat setup. We're back to PS2. Back to PS2. This is Steven's counterpick in the game, the stage that he won game one on. So let's see how this <laughs> Sorry, we're just Catch sweeping. One of these. We're just sweeping the main platform, <laughs> checking it for bugs or something. I don't know. For real. Looking for hidden items. Maybe there's a missile tank somewhere around here. Just gotta bomb every single square. I played Metroid. <laughs> Ooh, all right, charge shot. Get off of me. Let me come back to the stage for free. It's interesting. Steven will get these conversions, you know, up to 50, 60 percent. And then as Train is recovering, just kind of standing at ledge, not really trying to contest Train off stage, which is kind of interesting. Like, you know, I would suspect that he would want to go out there a little bit more frequent. Instead, he's just eating these charge shots randomly, one, just running again, into them. Not another one. Don't. One mas? One mas? No, OK. Just bombs. Oh, it's coming. I feel it. I feel that energy, t energy tank somewhere around here. I got the x-ray visor on. Ooh, Ooh, all right. Almost getting the spring conversion. Full charge shot still online. That was a great patience by Steven to not yes. get caught by the reversal uh, screw attack. Now train at the corner once again. And yeah, just look at all of this space that Steven is giving up. Not yeah. really feeling any confidence in trying to force the issue. But I mean, especially at 140, you got to start worrying about screw attack killing. Right. Getting too close, you might just get caught up in one of those grabs if you just miss space one of your attacks on block. But Steven now looking to try to close out this stock. But oh, well, ooh, train did... getting the raw back here. Yeah, and you could even see Steven was, Steven has completely stopped doing a spin charge or spin dash on the main platform because he's like, mm. I don't want to get charge shot. Right. Who wants to get charge shot? Yeah. It's never fun to get hit by that move. It is. It's probably one of the more tilting moves to get hit by <laughs> in this game, to be honest. Oh. There we go. Finally, yes. Steven making use of that offstage play that we saw earlier in the set and getting a clean kill, keeping things even, almost completely even uh, game right now. Yeah, you can see here in that entire in that entire sequence, Steven was trying to push the envelope and Train couldn't get anything set up with, with his projectiles. And Steven is definitely going to have to try to look to implement that a little bit more. Great fair offstage. That's what we need to do. The jump is gone. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, able to make it back. Good patience, waiting out that super missile, but still being stuck in the corner, fighting through the forward air. Steven finally starting to show a bit more aggression in taking space, which I think is what we want to see more in this matchup. Oh no, I think if he had double jumped, he would have hit that forward air. Instead chose to save it and uh, drop the conversion. Uh oh. The classic Samus ledge traps. Can you get out of this? It's basically a mini game. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You gotta, you gotta recognize where the bombs are. You gotta guess the what the follow up is. It's it's basically Mario Party. <laughs> so so true. Woo. Train with a decent lead here, and we're gonna start. You know, Train's just gonna keep it patient. Let Sonic run in, run into these bombs, hit it, try to throw a charge shot out. But I suspect he's gonna be fishing for that grab pretty Ooh, soon nice if he can. Nice parry. Yeah, nicely done. Okay. And yeah, no, now that. Now that full charge shot is online, Steven is on notice. Like, you gotta be so careful in this neutral. Chooses to angle the forward smash down instead of up, and Train is making it back through. There's that homing attack that we haven't seen in quite a while, getting Steven one of those like more unconventional angles to get in on the Samus. Full charge shot online once again. Scared on the platform with the shield. Have to worry about up tilt, gotta worry about up smash or up yep. B. I totally respect what Steven's trying to do here. Just wait for his moment. Oh, my, that could have been it right there. Oh, and the dropped punish. The spaghetti. Got to know Steven's kicking himself for that one, but still within the realm of possibility. Spring out of the way of the charge shot, and now Steven gets to play maybe a little bit more aggressive. Ooh, but the dash attack going to be taking things for train, and now... Maybe going to be running away, finding some extra credit, especially with that charge shot coming online once again. Ooh, I love the idea of setting up the bomb on the platform there, but Steven wisely running off, not really dealing with that at all. Oh, no. Don't. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I was like, what game is this again? <laughs> Ooh, okay, Steven firing right back, but unfortunately not able to find the kill. Still uses the double jump, nice. and that is a dead Dark Samus. Steven, think Steven taking things to last stock, but 77% on, on the board for extra credit for Train. So Steven's going to have to make something happen, and the, You're dead. the charge shot catching the back air out of shield. Train taking things cleanly. Was that a fully charged charge shot? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, nice. Very nicely done there by Train to get the W. Um, Definitely made a huge adaptation after game one. You know, uh, he unfortunately lost. It was a pretty close match game one. I feel like the whole set kind of played out um, just very closely contested. Um, Jake started, Jake, uh, Train rather, started to, you know, get more consistent at landing that charge shot in crucial moments, getting those grabs to end stocks, and really just, you know, sealed the deal. Very closely contested match. Job well done to both players for sure. Yeah, and I mean, you could definitely see as the set went on the fear that was instilled in Steven Absolutely. from all of the, the projectiles, the charge shots. And it, it's almost like a like a five stages kind of thing. Like we saw in game three, sort of the frustration set in for Steven. And we saw a lot of um, just Steven running into charge shots and then f coming into the fear. And then, yeah, that's he's gone. Oh. Wow. Boom. That was it. Sonic Frontiers DLC canceled. All right. Well, nicely done there to train. Uh, so I guess, you know, we're going to wait to see who's coming up to the sticks next. Oh, I believe we do have Carflow, our resident Roy specialist.